Hey guys, today is Thursday, July 31st in the afternoon. As myself, Will Bubadas, and Ken Crane, we've got a couple uh, topics to talk to you guys about. The first one is donated time. Uh, you guys are getting seven hours put in your bank uh, for this fiscal year, which runs through from July through June. It's going into your bank uh, next paycheck. Uh, so we need that time back to the union. We're encouraging you guys. I cannot stress enough how important it is that we get the donated time back to the union. The only way that we can do any union business, including representation, including negotiations, including um, any political activity, like the Prop 47, which I'm fixing to talk about, the BVBC uh, lawsuit, the buyback lawsuit, any of that stuff all has to be done on union time. It cannot be done on city time. So it's imperative that we get the donated time back because there's only so many hours in the day and we need that time to be able to do the business of the union. So we're, I'm asking again, I'm begging essentially to please donate that seven hours back. It's seven hours extra you're getting in your banks, seven hours that you would not normally otherwise get. And we're asking you to please fill the form out, send it in. I think the forms are email out. We also mailed forms out and we also have forms down at the office you can fill out. Uh, the next topic real fast is Prop 47. <coughs> For those who don't know, Prop 47 is the 401k initiative. Uh, there's some rumor out there that the city council is the one that came up with this. That's not true. What happened was an outside group called the uh, Arizona uh, Free Enterprise Club, which is a new group that's brought out. They're the ones who gather the signatures for this initiative. Uh, in the preamble of the initiative, it states it does not affect public safety personnel. However, when you read the initiative, it doesn't make that distinction. It actually states that the city can't pay contributions into PSPRS. So that's one interpretation of the initiative. Uh, so it's a very bad initiative. Uh, number one, even if it doesn't directly impact us, it will have a profound effect on us because if they have to close down the city system and then put all the civilians into a 401k system, that will cost several hundred million dollars to do over the next few years. So that's several hundred million dollars less that can go to the police department to hire new officers that can go to uh, pay raises and benefit raises. That's money that will have to go to closing down uh, copers. Uh, and obviously, if it affects us, that's even worse because then now we got new police officers in 401ks, which is not good for anybody. So we are opposing it. Uh, we are encouraging you guys to oppose it and for you guys to tell your neighbors, your friends, anybody that you see to oppose it and to vote no on 487. On one last note for me uh, before I turn over to Ken is uh, we are also are collecting signatures for our own initiative, the uh, you know Public Safety Act. Uh, they are going extremely well. We are way ahead of schedule on signature collection. Uh, we're getting a very positive response from the community. Anybody else who wants to pick up a petition, we still have petitions here uh, for you guys to pick up. And next, I'll turn it over to Ken. Thanks, Will. Uh, guys, we've had a lot of calls in the last couple weeks over sellbacks of your BV and B, uh, BC time. Um, the new program where you can sell back up to 150 hours of each. One of the big questions we've had is officers wanting to know if we're successful in the lawsuit to reverse this so that you can still get your uh, high three with uh, vacation uh, buyouts, uh, what will happen? Uh, as you know, we went to court. We requested a temporary restraining order. Uh, the judge did deny that order. One of the reasons he denied it was the city gave assurances that if we do win in court, they can make everybody whole. So if you want to sell your time, uh, you should probably go ahead and do it. Um, this, we don't know how long this lawsuit's going to take. Could take a while, but if we are successful, it does get reversed in our favor, then the city will have to figure out a way to make everybody whole, and you would still be able to participate in the buybacks for your high three. Um, if you got any questions on that, obviously don't hesitate to call us here at the office. Um, I think everybody's kind of starting to understand a little bit better now. And tied in with one of the points Will made uh, on the uh, ballot initiative petitions. Um, if you haven't picked one up, please do so. Give some of your family and friends. If every officer just gets one petition done, that's 15 signatures. Um, you know, we'll have the necessary signatures in no time. So uh, that's about it for today for the information we had to put out for you. Uh, stay safe out there. And again, if any questions, feel free to call. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.